In this lecture, we are going to know about the concept of von Mises stress. Whenever we perform any analysis in any FPS software, we are going to check the value of von Mises stress. And then we are going to compare this with the yield stress of the material. And then we are going to check whether the material will fail or not. So in this lecture, we are going to know about what is von Mises stress why it is always calculated and the basic theory behind the von Mises stress. So in structural engineering, a component may be subjected to different types of forces or a complex combination of them. These forces and movement or their combination give rise to different types of stress at different point in the members. Depending on the material of the members and the stresses generated the member may fail due to accidents of different types of stresses. So in any body, whenever different types of force act, there will be multiple types of stresses generated. So let's talk about all these different types of stresses that can be generated in any body. So we can divide this as direct stresses. These are tensile or compressive stresses. We have indirect stresses that is called bending or torsion stresses. We have shear stresses and we have additional forces or moments. These forces can be separate forces also there can be combination of all these multiple stresses. So because of these multiple stresses we need a theory which combines all these different types of stresses and we will get a single value of stress that is used to compare to check the failure of the material. To solve this problem multiple types of theories were generated and these theories were called theories of failure. So theories of failures are those theories which help us to determine the safe dimension of a machine component when it is subjected to combined stresses due to various loads acting on the body during its functionality. Example automobile engine, crankshaft, connecting rod. So in the automobile engine at a single time multiple types of forces are generated. Due to these forces, multiple types of stresses generated. So we have five major theories of failure. First one is called maximum principal stress theory that is called Rankine theory. Second one is called maximum shear stress theory that is called Guest or Tresca theory. Third one is called maximum principal strain theory that is called St. Vinant theory. Fourth one is called total strain energy theory that is Higgs theory. And final one or fifth one is called maximum distortion energy theory that is called von Mises theory. Of all these five theories for the ductile material von Mises is most suitable. And in case of brittle material the most preferred theory is that is that can be used is called the shear theory or you can say Tresca theory. But since in this course maximum time we are going to use the ductile material so we always have to check the von Mises stress. So now let's understand what is von Mises theory. According to the von Mises theory the concept of von Mises stress arise from the distortion energy failure theory. Distortion energy failure theory is comparison between two kinds of energy. First one is distortion energy in the actual case. Second one is distortion energy in a simple tension case. So according to this theory, failure occurs when the distortion energy in the actual case is more than distortion energy in a simple tension case. So in this problem we are going to compare our result with a simple tensile test. So during the simple tensile test, if you know about this curve, this is called stress strain curve. In this curve, to generate this curve, we take a body like this and then we are going to apply a tensile force from the both side. So that is why it is called simple tensile test. When we plot a curve between strain and the stress for this problem, we get a curve like this. So in this curve, three stresses are important. First one is called yield stress. Second one is ultimate stress. Third one is fracture stress. So you can see initially the curve is a linear curve up to this point. So this point is called the elastic zone 
after that we have plastic zone and this point is called yield strength after that we have a point that is called the ultimate strength this is the maximum stress in a body if you apply any stress more than this ultimate stress the body is going to break immediately after that we have fracture stress so generally in industries we always going to check the yield strength for the material so the reason we are going to check with yield strength is because you will see after this point the curve behaves non linearly so because of this non linearity we don't have any specific ultimate strength point but we always have a proper yield stress point for example in case of steel the yield strength somewhere close to 240 megapascal so we know that after this stress the material is going to break so that is why we always compare with the yield strength of the material so now if you want to check whether our design is safe or not we will calculate the von mises stress using the fes software or any calculations then we are going to compare this with the yield strength yield stress or yield strength both are same if this stress is greater than the yield stress of the material then part will fail also to add more safety in the part we also introduce one more quantity that is called factor of safety we will cover it later now now after that if the von mises stress is less than the yield strength of the material then the part is safe now if you want to define also additional factor of safety we can define this as factor of safety is basically ratio between yield stress and design stress yield stress means the maximum breaking stress and design stress means for which we are going to design the component so this factor of safety is basically going to provide extra safety and generally in case of automobile component this value of factor of safety is somewhere close to like 1.2 1.3 etc and whenever we have component like we have aircraft in case of aircraft this value is very high because in aircraft the safety is very important so these are all the basic fundamentals 